Oh shit, this is way too high. But gonna adjust the settings a little bit. Alright, this game uses an auto save feature. I gotta figure out where the fuck I'm putting my face. Alright, everybody. Life is strange. I, I think I've been meaning to play this game for I don't know how long. Um, I feel like this has a similar iconic status to like Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us, but I, it's not the same. I don't think it's the same developers. I don't think it's like quite like a Telltale game. Um, this is only I only have the first episode downloaded because I wasn't sure how everyone would receive this. So, if you guys want to see me finish this game, or finish this walkthrough, uh, like the video, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments. And then I will go ahead and buy the rest of the series. But for the time being, we're just going to see how I like playing Life is Strange. This is episode one. It's a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. So, basically, Telltale. Who is the developer of this game? I'm curious. Whoa! Shit. I was about to adjust my camera, but I don't want to miss this action. Hold the fuck up. I have no idea the premise of this, by the way. I... I am completely blind. I should probably also have subtitles on if I don't already. Probably should have checked that. Damn, that shit is loud. How old is this game, too? Okay, we have we have captions. What the fuck? Oh, please don't freeze on me, camera. I'm gonna adjust you. We have to make it to the lighthouse? Can I run? I'm trying to run. I don't know if there's a... Oh my god. I'm getting major Telltale flashbacks, but with the more like a sci-fi twist. And I'm only slightly terrified. What is that? Blackwell Academy... How, what is the year? 1910? Ain't no shot we're in 1910. I... Where the fuck? Holy shit. Holy shit is right. What the fuck? Is that like a mega tornado? I was gonna say volcano. Holy fuck. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. Look at this crap. Whoa, what? How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Here you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Why? You're in the middle of class. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, but I like it old. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I hearing walking in my house? Or is that in my headphone? I... Now I'm paranoid. Whoa, what? 
Okay, so I'm, I'm main character's Max. Max Caulfield. Max Caulfield. Or Holden Caulfield is... I don't know. I was going to say, I thought that was the character in... Uh, what's the uh, Catcher in the Rye? Ever since I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I always... I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. Jesus! So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. Preach. Yeah, okay, jeez. Interesting. Who is Kate? Forgot if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. The elite and the total bitch. Okay, so she's the mean girl, the teacher, best photographers in the world, also my teacher. You can mention one of your inspirations. Okay, so he's going to be like... that to me. Okay. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, what was it? Uh... I did know... But I kind of forgot. I feel like I know you this too. Know this or not, Max. Whoa. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that okay, so I... a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Shut the fuck up. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely Should I like throw a pencil at her or some shit? Downward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done what, by Robert I, Cornelius. You can find out all I already about looked at everything. In your textbook. Oh, the bag. Online. My little camera. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I don't know how to feel about this professor. I thought we were going to like him. And then he got very hostile. Victoria, she can already fuck off. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. <laughs> of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest... I feel like I shouldn't use... I... Even her school books are gift-wrapped. Can I just walk out of the classroom? I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. By putting yourself out there Every the time road, I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Why? Not for everybody. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is Sorry, to I just realized, to share like, your gift with others. My That's face was blocking his face, so from the when I can, I'll try and take myself out of it. Okay, there we go. 
All right, I'm not gonna fuck with her shit on the table. I feel like that's just gonna cause trouble. Open the door. Welcome to the real world. Then I might send you a special picture of her Because Max wants everybody to see how good she is. And she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Okay, we're getting some tile cards now. She's so fucking shy. Oh, are we we singing into the music world? Oh, this is probably gonna get copyrighted. Fuck, <laughs> shit. All right, all right. Hold up. I'll I'll uh I'll talk over it for the time being. I don't. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Uh, I had an issue with that in my my WWE 2K23 thing. And it wasn't even for music. It was for fucking uh a, like scene that played out. But when I streamed 2K23, the music was an issue. Uh, Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. He's texting, but he's just hanging with a lot of people. Okay, lock. Is this my locker? Oh. Okay. Justin... Okay. Okay, well, at least she's nice. Aw. Okay, so... Oh, what the fuck? The fuck is Vortex Club? Missing person poster. Missing from Arcadia Bay, April 22nd, 2013. So this, did this game come out in 2013? Damn, that's a, just about an 11 year old game. That's crazy. 19 years old, tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of left wrist. What day is it today? I'm not going to look at the vending machine. More missing... Or is it the same one? It's the same one? Okay, so it's the same one. So she's going to be important. <laughs> uh Oh, yeah, we got to make it to the bathroom. Can I... So there's like a walk faster when I press R2. All right, is the music going to stop so I can like unmute this shit now? All right, there we go. Except for me. Well, how do you know no one's in there? Uh, mirror. Are we gonna... I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started <laughs> with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yes. You wouldn't be in this game if you weren't. Poster... The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Uh. Fire bell. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I feel like we need to go into the stall. Now who would bother to write that crap? Visual Ember's a bitch. Oh! Fuck, okay. Shit. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Whoa. Why? I thought that... 
What the fuck is when happening? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. I hate Victoria Chase. Preach. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Take, take the picture. Well, don't walk. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. What? Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I this got serious really now. quick. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Oh, fuck. Whoa. You get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! I was in the bathroom. What? He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light. Oh, am I gonna get a chance to say if that it was daggery or what is it? Daggerious? Shit. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of Damn, a I cannot believe this. Can capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Anybody? Can you give me I an actually of a did photographer it. Who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Anybody? Can I respond? Because I. Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, of Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and around. check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? It was it was Diagrid something. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Can I rewind in time and just what bitch slap this bitch? Means you want to use the fact that you may be able to use it if you rewind. Making them what? Extremely do I need to rewind all the way back?
Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where we'll be fed it by the this? world. Shit. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to be... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Oh. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Use actions. Using the rewind? What the fuck? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. This is excuse all just us. weird as shit. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Ooh. I have faith in you. Alright. Well, we need to GTFO and get to the, the bathroom. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Jeez, oh, please. Okay, so yeah, R2 is anybody. to move faster. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly. butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I I'm need so a hammer to break it open. You are trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy oh, shit, shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Roll me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Oh, wait, Nobody I already have it? ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Okay, I think we did it. Another shitty day. Put the gun away, you dumb fuck. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Can we pick up the- I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. What the hell? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job.
I'm gonna go walk over to him. Is he the principal or something? He's dressed like a principal. Principal Wells. Ah, yeah. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? Don't. You could always be up front with me, Max. Okay, you got a little close there. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max? Uh. Talk to me. I don't, I just I, I don't like how close he's getting. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. No, I can't. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around me. You don't. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve Conflict with what? Now get outside with class. Walked out of the bathroom and got harassed by a security guard. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship oh, down the shit. toilet. Well, we're rewinding. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... Oh, shit. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... Serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office please go outside with the rest of your class now miss caulfield of this course this academic drone won't do anything since the prescott family owns blackwell now should i rewind and change my story i should i no i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it that way i'm gonna keep it holy fuck The rest of the class, there's like five people outside. Hmm. I don't know. Depending on how long this episode is, I don't know how long it is. But I do have things I need to do. So if shit gets elongated... We might have to do this in multiple parts. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? seems so elitist only if you're not cool enough to get in and it doesn't hurt your resume if you say so i do but you should actually come hang with us one night then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip you mean hang with the vortex club that sounds like a setup to a horrible prank chillax paranoia girl we're not that desperate for fun we know how to do that on our own it seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. 
<laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. Mm. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? What? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Whoa. Okay, fuck off. Warren? Whoa, what the fuck? Who? Do not look in cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready to see you shortly. What the fuck? Can you get my flash drive? Sorry, I'm saying I'm late today. Meet you in the lot? Okay, Is I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. How the fuck do I get there? Uh. Okay, so Blackwell, how? Where the fuck's the dorm? I. Is it this way? No. What? What way is it? <laughs> I. I don't know what. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. To the dorm. Okay, so the dorm's the other way. Maybe telling me this would work. Unless I'm just completely missing a map. Oh. Dormitories. Okay, see, those weren't too apparent before. So my apologies for not knowing which way it was. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Oh, God. And you're a lefty? Jesus, fuck. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Prescott dormitory, push on Prescott. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, uh. falls for your wave hipster bullshit. What do you call the Mark? The Bulgarian processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. Can you not be a bitch? Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Can I hit this bitch? I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Get lost. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. 
I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. The fuck? Oh. No, can I not? Oh, there we go. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Please. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? Oh, you look dude. great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do you understand English? Get lost. Still? Do I have to pump it again? Nice, bro. No. Okay. They pointed out the thing. I don't know. What? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Rewind and find something? What? for him to turn the corner or maybe not okay let's see if this works okay oh the butterfly butterfly is right there Can, can we go forward in time? What the hell? Are you Ooh. kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill oh. on the steps. Yes. And the paint's gonna spill. Please. I want to see it happen. No way. No fucking you okay, way. Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Shut the fuck up. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Well, kinda, but she's still on the steps. No. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. No. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Awesome. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Okay, there might be there might be the start of, of... I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Mm -hmm. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. 
I'll see you later. Au revoir. Okay, shit, that's character development. Victoria probably played me. I should have. I, I'm not gonna try and play her. I'm just trying to get in the fucking dorm. Where's mine? Hurry, Courtney. Lots well, of showers. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. We are room 219. Oh, a little teddy bear. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Uh, we need a flash drive. Try and find that. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. I the longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Yeah. Well... Where's uh who the fuck is David? Oh the security guy. You got a text from mom. Happy birthday. Principal sent me an email they told to tell tell us about a Blackwell honor student? Said this was a serious false charge. Call me ASAP. Bro! There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Okay, where's where's the flash drive? Warren even left me a little message with this flash drive. The cinematic contents He's of this flash drive are a graphic life altering controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal, Holocaust, and Ultra Vixens. What the fuck? Is it in there? Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Where's the fucking flash drive? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Or am I just stupid? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This action will have consequence. What? How? How? Not a, not a, a negative consequence, I wouldn't think. Are we supposed to be looking for the flash drive? Hello? I don't know what we're doing. I... So come on, lady. What was that for? Take optional photo number five. Oh, bet. Um... The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day mom and I sewed that together. We're, the wasn't the point the to get the flash drive and nothing is popping up about the flash drive? Remember those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's fitting. Can look. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I bought your drive so I can watch. Oh shit! Okay, so that's where right. the drive is. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Donde esta Dana? I can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. What? Uh oh. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hi, Juliet. This is Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. How can you lock her in the room? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? 
Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name. Oh, that was a total guess. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. In her room? Where's Victoria's room? Uh, so we'll be looking for... Not a ca We won't be looking for a camera. A tablet, maybe? Ooh! Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Okay, what's in the tablet? What about laptop, maybe? I'll give it boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell or out. Or just take a picture! You don't need to print it. You can just take the fucking picture. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <laughs> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay. Huh? Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. That looks like a home pregnancy test. C can I? Why well, am I gonna take it? Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Do I know what's on the flash drive? Like, does does Max know what's on the flash drive? I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Oh, God. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Uh. Is it? Is everything on there? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Oh, that's shit. Okay. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you Okay, we're going to rewind time. We're going to rewind time on that one. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. I, I can't help it. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Okay. So we're going to avoid looking at it. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Very, quite. I heard a rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Ooh. Was. Oh. What about the other? That'd be bad. 
You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Is it Logan? Oh, it's not my business, but I want to ask who. I mean, okay, I can rewind time if I offend her. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Alright, it's probably Logan. It better not be that fucking, what, the Prescott douchebag? On my way out here for a row, it's probably like I can call the cars the more I take, the longer I take on my way. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to ride time, my bad. Shit. Leave the girls' dormitories. Is shit gonna go down when I leave the dorm? Okay, so, um, where am I going? I can't really go around the other way, so I'm assuming... Hey! Damn, I better rewind. For what? Fuck this shit. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Huh? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Oh boy. Victoria. But we're not friends. D we never fucking were! You're a bitch! Okay. Now where am I going? Because that all... So I'm meeting him in the parking lot. Pause. Go to parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, uh. Ben, leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Shit. Can I not- Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now officer- Okay, yeah, we're, we're rewinding. We're rewinding. We're gonna take a picture so we have photographic evidence. I'm not gonna rewind my business. Or mind my business. Take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side huh. you're on. Please leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks Shit. for nothing, Max. Okay, you're gonna hate me now, but I can help you out later. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. <sighs> Shit. Well, there's a drone again. I don't know how long this episode is supposed to be. I mean, we're only like 53 minutes in, but... Could you walk any slower? Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh. No problem. Ah, check out my new wheels. Cool. New. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60? You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Just one could say life is strange. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. 
You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The what? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. Oh. My mind is twisted enough. Shit, my bad. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, what the fuck? we cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Life changing? Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Oh God. I feel right. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies. Oh, Jesus. I'm one of his students. Whoa! What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh, fuck! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Oh, shit! Wait, wasn't Chloe like her friend? Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Jesus, fuck. Man, wasn't Chloe like her Prescott is her, up. Th that was the friend from like 5 years ago? This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After 5 years you're still Max Caulfield. Okay, so yeah, this is what I thought it was. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? <laughs> I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. 
I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Shit. Can I rewind that one? Shit. Bust it up, camera. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Uh. Welcome home, Max. Welcome home indeed. Forty-four. Guess a cold cuss. Guess a cold cuss. Guess a cold cuss. If you guys remember that commercial, you guys are real ones. Come on in. Don't be shy. America. Fuck yeah. Nice home. Shit home. Did I? I didn't press anything. Did I? Birdie. Why are there tits everywhere? Okay. Sure. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. <sighs> Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Uh. Um. Okay. Hell yeah. Where? Put on some music. What? The fuck's your stereo at? Hi fi oh. It won't play without any power. Without any power? How the fuck do we get power? She looks super she looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Uh how do I put on some music? She said put on some music. There, there's nothing to play music from that works. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Power, oh, gotta turn on the power strip, you fucking dumbass. There we go. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Where am I going to find that? I think this junk swallowed her discs. No? Uh, drawer? We had such a blast drawing these together. Oh, wow. The fuck? Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. No, I don't think there's anything in there. Jesus. But junk in this suitcase. Is it gonna be in that like thing in, underneath the bed? Oh, there we go. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. 
After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Ooh. Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deducted. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Alright. Well, I think... For the sake of playing it safe, I don't know, again, I don't know how long these episodes are, so I won't get a I good feel for that. Now. Plus, I need those tools. Until... Um... What was I saying? I don't even know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching.